Mastering Informal Choice Questions The Fun Way to Talk English Hello everyone! Today we're diving into the world of informal English. More specifically, we're going to focus on choice questions, but not just any choice questions. We're looking at the polite and informal ones. So get ready, this is going to be fun and enlightening. When you're chatting with friends or people your age, you often use informal language. This language is relaxed and sounds more like everyday speech. Informal choice questions are part of this language. They're questions where you offer a choice between two or more options. They're commonly used in daily conversations, especially when the speaker wants to sound friendly and open-minded. An example of an informal choice question would be, Hey, do you want to grab a burger or a pizza for lunch? When you're crafting your choice questions, the use of informal expressions can make your speech sound more natural and friendlier. Here are some examples. 1. Hey, what's your pick? Cinema or bowling tonight? 2. What do you fancy? Coffee or tea? 3. What'll it be? Horror movie or comedy? Notice how these questions are very casual and use informal words and contractions. It makes the conversation more personal and engaging. Even when we're using informal language, there's still a place for politeness. Here are some polite expressions that you can use in your choice questions. 1. Would you mind if we watch the football game instead of the movie? 2. Would it be alright if we met up later instead? 3. Do you happen to prefer going to the beach instead of the mountains? These phrases are more polite and are useful when asking someone to do something they might not want to do, or when you're not quite sure about their preferences. Remember that in informal language, we use a lot of contractions and colloquialisms. Also, we often drop words and use colloquial grammar, which is not necessarily correct in formal English, but is very common in speech. For example, you might ask, pizza or burger? Instead of, would you prefer to have pizza or a burger? Both are acceptable in informal English, but the shorter one is even more relaxed. All right, that wraps up our exploration of informal and polite choice questions. Remember, the key to mastering this is to practice. Try using these in your daily conversations, and soon enough, they'll become second nature to you. Until next time, keep practicing and keep having fun with English.